What is up everybody, welcome to it. So on today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys to a customer's house who just bought a brand new Aquaforce Ocean Guard 980. This thing is unbelievable. I think it's the biggest, I think it's the biggest tank that Ocean Guard makes. Uh, I'm really excited to share it with you, some of my thoughts on the Ocean Guard. But before we do that, I got something really cool. So check this out. We got ourselves a Cuban hogfish that is gonna be going into a aquarium right now. Now he's gone through his quarantine. We had him in chloroquine phosphate for two weeks. Plus he's been treated uh, with Prozzi for any type of flatworms or anything like that. And he's doing really, really well. I'm really excited to get him into this aquarium. So let's go ahead, get him acclimated, and then I'll show you guys the rest of the fish that are in the tank. And here we are at the customer's house. We are inside. Now this tank, we just recently restarted because there was a lot of issues. We completely restarted it. And I couldn't be happier with the progress that we've made. So far, all the fish are doing amazing. So you got some wrasse, cleaner wrasse. You got a big old clownfish right there. A bunch of different antheas, tangs. We got like everything in this aquarium. Swallowtail uh, angelfish. Um, yeah, sunburst uh, antheas. Uh, there's just a, a, a nice variety of fish in here. Um, now the tank is fairly uh, a bit new, so it's still kind of going through a, a bit of an ugly stage, but I'm really happy with the way the corals have responded so far there is a we just got over the brown algae but we are starting to get a little bit of green algae so we're si trying to stay ahead of that but uh, there's a female trigger fish right there uh blue jaw trigger fish a female there's also a male in here somewhere uh there's a pair of them and a little fire fish blue hippo tang i believe there's some yellow tangs in here blue giant blue reef chromis those blue reef chromis are, are absolutely massive some bangai cardinals a bunch of stuff and then here we have one of my favorite uh, all-time fish, green spotted puffer, who's fitting in perfectly with the rest of, the, uh, of all the other fish. Not bothering anybody, just staying to himself, doing his thing. Um, we have uh, yellow tangs. We all know how hard yellow tangs are, are, are to find nowadays. A uh, Borbonius antheus, unbelievable fish. I wish I could afford it. I would love to one day own that fish. That is, I, it's crazy looking, I love it. Uh, blue hippo tang, I think I said that already. Oh, harlequin tusk over here which is a little bit elusive it's really doesn't come out very much very shy fish which is a bit unfortunate and there is a zebra eel in here uh that's why you can see that crab claw in there because he's munching down on those crab claws he's in the back somewhere but today we are adding the cuban hogfish so here he is acclimated and ready to go so i've put him in and everybody's he looks first of all he looks great in here the coloration is absolutely stunning really um adds a lot to the tank a lot of color good size to the fish some presence the harlequin tusk seems to be a bit wary of him some of the fish keep checking him out making sure he's cool all right so that was fun i think that that fish will do really well in that aquarium i'm really happy with the progress that tank has made i mean it looks really cool there's a lot of uh a lot going on in there but let's go ahead now and head to the customer's house and check out this ocean guard so here we are at the customer's house and, and this is it. This is the beast, the Ocean Guard 980. What a tank. Now I wanna take a look here at how everything's doing because of the simple fact this tank is only uh, a month old, I'd say. Now the customer had an existing tank that was, I mean the tank itself was probably about 10, 15 years old. And um, I have previous videos of that, which I'll link, but it was in pretty bad shape and he decided to do the, the upgrade, which I'm really glad to see. So we have just recently moved everything from, broke down his old tank and moved everything. All these corals were in the original tank and moved them over to this new aquarium. So this tank has really only been up for uh, probably about a month, I'd say. And it's all new sand, all new rock. Uh, so I was a bit worried about how the corals would do. I mean, we had an existing aquarium that was up for a while and uh, to switch completely over with all new sand and all rock was a bit risky, especially given the type of corals that are in here. But uh, this is my first visit since uh, the setup, since the switchover. And wow, it's, uh, I mean, look at it. Look at these torches. They're insane. And uh, the Blastos, uh, Duncan corals, everything is looking really, really good. I was a bit more worried about the SPS corals, but they all seem to be doing well. Trumpet corals, you know, big and fluffy, which is what you like to see, but I mean, we have a pasta pour, we have some acros in here too, and everything, uh, I don't see any bleaching, 
Uh, I still see some pretty good color on everything. Manapur up top there, Spongegoids, that's still doing good. So I'm really, I'm actually, I walked in here thinking that we'd have a little bit of um, distressed looking corals. But the, the, the tank move went amazing and I'm <laughs> kind of blown away by that, how well things are doing. Now there's a little bit of diatoms in the sand, a little bit of brown algae there. But, um, and, and I expect it to get probably a little bit worse dealing with some brown algae just because the rocks need time to cure and the sand will need it too. But uh, the progression that we're making right now is pretty impressive. Uh, given the short amount of time this tank has officially been set up and anybody who's tried to kept, keep SPS corals know how hard it can be. Although I do see a bleached coral right here, so that's something to, to um, keep in mind. But anyways, back to the aquarium, the Ocean Guard 980. 80, this, look at this, look how much storage you have here for electrical. You even have a shelving unit to be able to kind of stock some stuff on here. But just plenty of room. We got a chiller in there. We got, I mean, we got everything in this thing. So you, you definitely can fit as much, uh, a decent amount of electrical, more than you would ever need for this aquarium. Now let's go to the main filtration system. And I really love the sumps if you're comparing them to like something like a Red Sea, just because I love the acrylic and PVC combo better than the glass. And I love the big filter socks, the big filter, um, uh, you know, stations here where you have. Uh, more surface area for water to trickle down. You have a nice big area for, you can keep a really large protein skimmer, although we are getting micro bubbles because we don't have this sponge to slide in there to um, filter them out before they get into the return pump. But that's uh, we just a matter of ordering a sponge that should handle the micro bubbles. You have tons of room in here. And then, you know, we added a UV sterilizer, which was a bit tricky. They're not really designed for that. And then you have a really giant reserve uh, freshwater reservoir right there that's 15 gallons which is really nice to have one of the other things i love about these ocean guards are these front panels those can come off so right now those are charcoal but if say you paint your walls to a different color and you want uh, different panels on there for the stand those snap off and you can order um, they have more varieties of colors they have like off white white black uh, different types of shades of gray so you can match your walls a little bit better and i love how the stand is already put together you don't have to put it together like the red sea tanks um all in all, this uh, aquarium is really well built. Uh, it feels sturdy, good quality, and uh, the glass is ultra clear. But the aqua forest tanks, definitely 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. Now, the other thing I need you guys' help with is we have this little tank up in uh, his son's room, and it's kind of boring, not much going on. We just recently got it uh, in good condition. There's a lot of cyanobacteria going on. So it's doing really, really well. It's really healthy, and I need you guys uh, to you know kind of chime in and what would look good in here what should we put in here i want to keep it simple just because it's, i want it to be a low maintenance tank but i was thinking rock flower anemones would be cool just because of uh you can get so many different colors and i think the the, the little boy would enjoy that i think that'd be really cool uh filtration is pretty you know straightforward you know nothing crazy just your simple nano tank uh filtration system we got a lid on here so we can we can add some more fish especially you know we have to worry about fish jumping out or anything like that but uh it's doing really well all right, that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one.